Hi guys, this is the short review of the USB voltage tester that I just got around two weeks ago. That price around um, seven to ten dollars, and there are a lot of variants out there. And this one is the OLED version. Uh, I mean the display here is. OLED LED display. So, um, what is what it? What this little device can do is you can check the um, the power output of the USB port from any device that has USB port, just like this. You just plug this thing through any. Um, USB ports and this is the input and the output of the power so and this one is the small button to swap the display from uh, if you are viewing like this you can press the button over here small button over here to switch the display from upside to from upside down to your correct position if you plug in like this or like this so it will be in a readable position so um, let's take a measurement first and the measurement of this device the length of this device around 6 Point seven or six point eight centimeters. The width of this device around should be around um, around one point eight centimeters, eighteen millimeters, and the thickness of this device should be around. Um, nine millimeters so this is the OLED display OLED LED display um, they are this little device not wrapped in any showing of plastic so um, you have to be careful when handling this to avoid any sh short circuits for this exposed soldered joints over here so Let's get this little device plugged in and I will show you what it will display through this OLED display over here. Okay, I will be plugging this device on the um, this computer over here from the front USB panel. You just plug this thing in and there's a welcome screen and as you can see there are four kind of metric display over here the voltage the power current output and the current flow in milliamp hour for this C over here and the current output is 0, 0.00 amp means that there are no current flow right now so <coughs> I will be using this power bank to be charged through this USB voltage tester over here so um, I will be plugging this thing this um, power bank the capacity is around 2600 milliamp so you can use this small little device to check whether your power bank met the capacity or not or to avoid you are being cheated by the, any seller so you just plug this thing on to the output port here and there's a red LED on my power bank means that this power bank is charge right now, charging right now 
and as you can see the voltage has dropped by around 0.1 volt so but that's not much any difference not gonna make any difference or any performance impact the performance impact that will be affected on how fast the any device will be charged is this current output over here so this power bank is pulling around 2.7 watt and the current output of this USB port over here the maximum current output that can be supplied to this power bank is around 500 milliamp or 0.5 amp on this display and the current flow that has been supplied to this uh, power bank is 13 milliamp so you are probably wondering why the USB port from any computers and laptops and not a dedicated USB chargers has any uh, are very slow on charging on your device means that the supplied current output from these USB ports are only around 0.5 amp or 500 milliamp maximum that is because um, these USB ports are made for data transfer as well that is why the current flow are 50% from that is dedicated USB chargers that you plug from the wall plugs so um, it is still charging you can check whether, whether the USB port met the specification um, as in when you're buying a new USB charger or any USB charger you can plug this device in to check the current output but make sure you bring any device with um, cable to test the USB port that we'll be using with this USB voltage tester to prove that the um, current supplied from the specification of the box packaging met the criteria or not and if you are buying any USB chargers that says around that says about um, 1 m power that can be supplied so the output of that USB chargers can have around maximum of around um, I think um, 800 milliamp or 900 milliamp it is not always around 1 1 m that will be supplied because they are power efficient efficiency and that also depends on the USB charges so um, uh, you also can use this USB voltage tester to check whether or not your um, for example your power bank battery has been damaged or not or your phone battery has been damaged or not means that if you, so let's say that this power bank has around 200 and 600 milliamp power capacity and first you need to discharge this power bank first from full to no capacity at all and do a charge through this device and check the capacity over here capacity supplied to this um, power bank and check for this, this numbers if it is around 
2,500 or 2,600 anywhere <coughs> around those range man, means that this power bank is still okay for its capacity but um, if it displays around 2,000 milliamp per hour capacities when it is fully charged uh, means that either this power bank is doesn't meet the criteria of the specification that is um, specified in the packaging or if you've been using this power bank for around a year or two years you can check using this device and you will know either the battery inside are broken or not but some of you who prefer to DIY anything you can just pop open this panel top panel over here top cover over here and replace your own batteries so um, this is it guys thank you for watching and I'm sorry for the long explanation but I am sharing my personal knowledge that I um, that I have and subscribe if you want and like if you like this video and that is all guys and peace thank you for watching